It's good evening and welcome to the programme. First tonight, fracking in the East Midlands. The region's been identified as one of the hottest spots in Britain for shale and oil gas. But to get at it, companies would have to use the controversial process of fracking. Well, a high-profile campaigner is in Nottingham tonight to add her voice to the anti-fracking movement. And uh, we'll be hearing from the fashion designer Dame Vivian Westwood in a moment. But first, Mike O'Sullivan examines why this area is prime fracking country. Fire from water. Some scientists in America believe fracking increases the risk of nearby drinking water being contaminated with methane. Dame Vivian Westwood, an icon of fashion design, has lots of other worries about the controversial process for getting gas from rock deep below the ground. Here, joining a demonstration at Balcombe in West Sussex. Tonight, she'll be at a meeting in Nottingham. It's claimed it's aimed at opening up a much-needed debate on fracking. Over 50% of the country don't even know what fracking is. Um, and considering that the government is in the process of licensing over two-thirds of the UK landmass, this is something that's coming to you. Fracking is the process of injecting water and chemicals deep into shale rock to extract oil and gas, hailed by supporters as a new way to meet our energy needs. In the East Midlands, there are huge deposits of shale rock in what's called the Widmerpool Gulf, north of Melton Mowbray. One village in the shale area is Wimeswold. The oil company that identified the shale is called Union Jack, who say they have no plans to frack. But who knows if others would be tempted? You know, we need experts' advice and we need to know, really, at the end of the day, whether it's a good move or a bad move. You don't like it in your own area, do you? So, no, wouldn't feel <laughs> that happy with it happening here. Potentially, you know, if, if, if fracking's able to supply the energy that some people say it can, then that can give businesses the security to grow, to invest, and to come and, come and locate here. The campaigners in Nottingham tonight are being supported by two women opposed to fracking in their home areas, in Lancashire and America. I'm glad in the UK that there's stuff like this talk fracking tour because we didn't get that opportunity in the United States. My message to the UK government would be stop and listen, participate in this debate. You know, you're rushing us into something. The organisation that represents the shale gas industry advised people to listen to the expert bodies that say the risks are manageable when combined with proper regulation. Mike O'Sullivan, BBC East Midlands Today, Nottingham. Well, tonight's meeting at Nottingham Trent University will be addressed by the acclaimed fashion designer Dame Vivian Westwood, and we can hear from her now. Uh, good evening, Dame Vivian. Um, what's your evidence that fracking is harmful in any way? Um, there is overwhelming evidence, and until now, about um, there's overwhelming evidence about the effect on people's health and, and even death. And um, the thing is that until now, people have been trying to sort of deny, well, it could have happened anyway. But the statistics are just so overwhelming that now, particularly in America, they're acknowledging this, these facts. And, um, and have, have you, this, this is going ahead, yeah. Have mm -hmm. you, but you, you say the evidence is overwhelming, but what, what actually is this evidence? Mm. Has, has anyone died or anything like that or been, had their health adversely affected? Um, we've got with us on this tour a girl from America, a friend of hers did die this morning, and she's got real evidence, lots of it, of this, the connection between this and what's, happening, what's happened there with the frail gas, the carcinogenic waste and all these things. Apart from which, one of the reasons that um, fracking for um, gas has, stopped, has peaked in America is that there's so much drought there they don't have the water to do it with. I mean, it's just harmful on every level. And there are farmers who, of course, they're having to import great tankers of water because it, all their water is poisoned. You know, it's just for their purposes, but their animals are live, eating grass. I mean, it, we know about it. It's really terrible. Haven't you seen those pictures of people um, lighting the, their tap 
water because it's got all this explo escaped methane well, in it. I mean, and, but the most important thing is is the effect it's going to have on everybody from global warming. Well, Dame, global warming will cause death. Well, Dame Vivian Westwood, thank you for making your points and thank you for joining.